Hello, I'm Metro Ryan Darcy, and today I've decided to watch La La Land. Now, I know it's a musical. I know Ryan Gosling's in it. I know Emma Stone's in it. And I know it's nominated for a ton of awards this season. So, there must be something good about this film. And I cannot wait to watch it. I just watched La La Land. OMG. Um, <laughs> I loved it. It was amazing. I, I loved it. I love this movie. This is, uh, is without a doubt one of the best movies of 2016. December 26th. Okay, so it came out. I will consider it a 2016 release. And not only did I watch La La Land, I watched it in the one of the last showings of IMAX in, I think, Southern Ontario. I could be mistaken, but the whole, I checked, the Greater Toronto Area, Mississauga, uh, and all that, and this was the last and latest showing of IMAX La La Land before it switches over, because literally the next showing after La La Land is um, the Lego Batman movie in IMAX. So, I am glad I saw it in IMAX. The visuals were amazing. Um, I love the... I, right away, it, it hits on so many levels of the, the older styles. It's, it's uh, the older styles of music slash movies. And, 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 and it's like two of my favorite things, back and forth. Music and movies. And having such an amazing combination of both it's it just um i think this might be in my top 20 movies my top 20 favorite movies of all time i'm going to have to recalculate because um i was in the middle of calculating because i i wanted to do a video where i said here is my top 10 20 favorite movies as of a certain date because i what i found is over time your list of favorite movies changes and adapts to the way you grow as a person. So I really wanted to uh, release the video, and I'm still going to do that. But La La Land is definitely something I will probably like. I'm going to have to check to make sure I, and of my decision of favorite movies. But this this is definitely um, a favorite movie of 2016, and I consider probably one of the best movies of 2016. Um, I haven't watched a lot of films in 2016, so I'm slowly getting at it. Yeah, so I'll probably release that video um, sometime this month. Um, and then pro I'll probably do an updated one every year or so just to um, see if anything changes. But yeah, La La Land is definitely, La La Land is definitely in my top 50 favorite films of all time. Um, at the very least. It was really good. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling were amazing. The cinematography was amazing. The choreograph and camera movements were amazing. Wow. It is a love letter to musicals and and artists. Artists. It basically, it's it's this movie is for those filmmakers or uh, musicians who are trying their best to do what they want to do. It's, it's all about not losing your way and doing what you want to do and <laughs> do the best that you do. I mean, this movie was a little more deep than I thought it would be. I'm not spoiling anything. Like, I'm not planning on spoiling the movie for those who want to see it. Though, if you're thinking of seeing La La Land because you like music or filmmaking,
go see La La Land, okay? Don't stop this for stop this YouTube video right now and go see this movie. And if you if there's a feeder playing IMAX or or if you are the kind of person who saves money by uh, you know streaming slash uh, illegal download and all that, um, I wouldn't recommend it. But I'm just saying, see this movie. It's really good. Great, amazing. Uh, the director definitely hit it out of the park. I haven't seen any of his other films. I saw a short film, Whiplash, but I did never saw the. Oh well, I, I forget if the short film was named Whiplash, but I didn't see the feature film Whiplash, and it's something I wanted to see, but I never got a chance to. And after you know. The many awards La La Land was nominated for, it was kind of hard to, to not want to see this movie. I loved Ryan Gosling's reactions. Ryan Gosling reactions are so great, and in this movie, it's no exception. There are so many good musical moments in this film. This is the best musical I've seen in theaters, like hands down. Like, I've only been on this earth about 20 or so, 20 and a little bit years. And this is the best musical I've seen in theaters. I, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I'm not spoiling it. And I just want to say the last chapter surprised me. I was not expecting that. And it hit me on such an emotional level, it actually, it made me tear up. I was holding back tears. It was that beautiful and that well done. I gotta hand it to the editor and the people who did the music. There's, I saw in the credits there are so many names for the music department. And they all did an amazing job uh, piecing this movie together. Um, and the editor did a really great, amazing job. Um, like I've heard people saying, oh, it was uh, boring or something like this. and. I didn't get that with this movie. I was in from the very first scene. That's another thing I was sort of worried about, but I didn't say about it in the before section. But um, going to see a musical is, is like it's there's always that laugh factor because it's absurd, you know, musicals in general. Like the way they they came up with it back then, and it's like it's something you can really only do in films and live action plays, and. I was afraid going into this movie, will the music make me laugh? Will will the moments be laughing and like laughable in the sense that it's it's cheesy or something like that? And all of those jitters got out in the first musical number. See the the first the, the major musical at the beginning, the, the the highway scene, made me laugh. Like as soon as it started it made me laugh and then there was like it wasn't like ha 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 like laughing, but it was just like ha yeah. And then, by the end of that musical number, um, all my, the, the, the seriousness of the musical really took a hold of me in the sense that it didn't feel like, like once you get past, that's, that's what I felt was really good about that, opening, having that as your opening musical number, is it's so big and absurd that whatever happens next, is more you're able to take it. I'm an all-around type filmmaker. I love editing, I love acting, I love I love being on set and and working on films uh, in front or behind camera even as like a small extra in the background or a PA that gets the coffee. Either way I love filmmaking and it was really uh, touching to see um, a really nice portrayal of um, what it's like being an actor going to auditions. Um, I'm talking about Emma Stone's character. It, it was, it's funny because I, <laughs> I guess, I mean, if, if you're not in acting or know of acting and never auditioned for something, you don't know how that or 
you probably don't understand what it's like going for parts and all that uh, in movies and all that. I mean, if you get big or well known, like like Ryan Gosling or Emma Stone, then <laughs> then auditioning auditioning is still hard. It's quite intimidating, even if you're an actor of that stature. There's moments where she's going for auditions or going for or do, performing on stage and it just from the simple edits of seeing the camera or the audience you feel the pressure or behind being behind stage you feel that pressure and anxiety and anyone who is who's acted or ever uh, tried to act an audience or to a camera knows this feeling and I loved how that was represented in the movie. La La Land in my opinion, along with several other films, are sort of destined to be classics for the, from the modern age, and this is one of those films. I loved how J.K. Simmons was in it as a brief role. I definitely think we'll remember it a lot better than, say, The Artists. Yeah, go see La La Land if you love music or film or both. Definitely, if, if you love both, go see this film. So what will I watch next? Subscribe and you'll find out. Thanks for watching. Oh, and the music. Music was so good. I'm, I want to get that soundtrack now.